What's up everyone? Welcome back. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Chris and today I'm going to go ahead and do my what I've been melting. Um, it hasn't been too long. Not like last time I got, you know, a little carried away and I waited too long and I couldn't remember most of it. So I'm still pretty fresh. There's only a few Scentsy in here, so it's mostly vendor. Um, again, I don't don't know why I've been gravitating more towards my vendor. I guess I feel a little more overwhelmed by it. Um, my Scentsy is in the cabinets for the most part. I have some on shelves, but most of it's in those cabinets, so I don't see it. Um, so I've been trying to like just kind of go through more of the vendor stuff, and I have some more vendor coming in. So I've been trying to warm down some of that to replace when the new stuff comes in. Anyway, all that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I went ahead and I sorted everything by vendor. I think I got it all together. Um, <coughs> if here it goes a little quicker that way, and not jumping all over the place. So if there's a particular vendor you're just more interested in over the other, you could skip around, whatever you need to do. Um, okay, so how is everybody on this Sunday? It's cold and it is snowing here today. The weather where I am has been up and down. It, you know, we've been in the 60s, then back down to the 20s, and then back into the 50s, and today it's in the 30s. It's all over the place, but I'm not complaining because for the most part, we have had such a mild winter. I wish every winter could be like it this winter has been. Okay, so I'm gonna start with Scentsy first. And I only did three clams. In fact, this one I didn't even do the whole clam because it's so strong. I knew just on cold that, oh, it was gonna be enough. Okay, so the first one, Cake Me to Paradise. Well, on cold, I was super excited for this one. And even with the scent notes, I was really excited to smell this one. And the scent notes on Cake Me to Paradise are sweet cake infused with juicy orange and island rum will whisk you away to paradise. Um, this is a big letdown. I could not smell the cake in here. Well, I'm not gonna say couldn't smell it. It was an ever so slight hint of a cake note. And that was really disappointing because I think if there was more cake note in here, it would have been a winner. I basically picked up the fruit. So it was the, the fruit and the rum. So it was like an orangey rummy scent, um, a little on the sharper notes kind of musky uh yeah so i was really really sad about this because i was hoping that it was going to be a nice fruit cake fruity cake bakery you know like a yellow cake scent and it wasn't okay the next one bamboo in rainfall you guys i'm in love with this one this is Exhilarating rainfall pours down over fresh bamboo and bright melon water in a tranquil moment. This one here, first of all, it's a powerhouse. It's so good. It's so good. Now, it's got that freshness of the bamboo, which gives it a little bit of a green scent, but not like grassy green. Just that fresh, spa-like green. The hint of a melon kind of sweetens it a little bit in that rain scent, that clean, watery rain. It, I love this one. This one I will stock up with multiple bars because I have pretty much axed my club. I didn't even record it. I should have. I just went in there and I just deleted everything. Um, I made sure I checked my spreadsheet first to see how much of a backup I had of everything. And I have plenty. So I, I axed it all. I have a few, I have three bring, the three bring back my bars in there still. 
with three each and that's it um <clears throat> because those three I already have 12 of everything so I may not even let that deliver I don't know yet but this one here I'm gonna stock up in fact I have a party to close out so possibly I might grab it then not sure because there's a few warmers that I want okay but you didn't need to hear all that right <laughs> This next one here is pink, uh, peach and grapefruit mimosa. Now this is from our Easter collection. Um, and like I said, I knew, and I don't like to do this because I hate partial bars. I don't know, there's something about a partial bar that just drives me crazy. Um, so yeah, I only did three cubes. It's a powerhouse. Um, it's bright grapefruit, sweet peach with a dash of vanilla. I did not pick up the vanilla. Um, it's really good. Uh, I liked it. Now, I'm not usually a fruit. I don't lean towards the fruit. But this had, with that grapefruit in here and the peach, it was... It was... Um, I don't want to say sharp. It was a bright grapefruity peachy scent kind of lean toward orange to me but whatever like I I would really compare this very closely with uh sunkissed citrus um it was good I really enjoyed it I don't know I don't know why they got mimosa in here I didn't pick up mimosa scent you know you think it'd be like a champagne but you know what I liked about it was the brightness of the bar um, it's one of those bars. Now, even though yesterday, cause I just melted this yesterday, it's still going in my kitchen. Um, in fact, my granddaughter was here this morning and when she walked in the kitchen, she says, Oh, it smells good in here. So she liked it. It's one of those bars that maybe on a Sunday morning when you're cleaning your house and you know, doing whatever day you do your housework on and it's sunny outside and this just pairs really well with that vibe. So I did, I really, I enjoyed it. I may pick up another bar or two, maybe it's just two bars, because like I said, it only needed three. Now that was in that, I put one in my, I have a mini warmer in my kitchen, the, um, the vino warmer, the wine bottle, and that Simply Diamond, the small one. It's strong, very strong and I enjoyed it. Okay, what I'm gonna do, I think, is get a bar out of, I don't even know if I have a bar of Sunkissed Citrus. I know I have it in the spray, the counter clean. I may grab a bar and compare the two just to see, you know, I'm not sure. All right, let's get on to our vendor wax. I'm gonna start with what I melted the least of. Um, this first one here is Rose Girls. And this is the Polar Express. And the Polar Express is Marshmallow Fireside, Bath and Body Works type, um, Mocha Latte, and Vanilla Hazelnut Mocha. Now, I don't have much Rose Girls, and the reason for that is Rose Girls does not perform well for me. So, when she does her ready to ship or her pre orders, I will sometimes go in there and just pick a few things just to see how they work for me. Um, some of the things that I've melted from her that I thought being, on, you smell on cold, like Bowser's Breath, for instance, oh my God, I couldn't get that to throw for anything. So, um, this one here though, again, I bought on a whim. It smells amazing. It's very chocolatey um, if you don't like chocolate. So it's a very chocolatey with a little hint of the coffee in there, but you pick up the marshmallow in here. I don't pick up marshmallow fireside, but you get that creamy marshmallow scent. It smells very good. I enjoyed it. It threw for me. However, that was in this room here in my office. I don't know if it would work in a large open area. I can't really say. This isn't a scent I would melt in my you know like living room 
I would do it in my kitchen though, and it might throw in there. It's possible. But that's the Polar, Polar Espresso, and it was very good. Um, I may, may not repurchase if I see it. I don't know. We'll see. Like I said, I have very little of Rose Girls. Um, there are certain scents that I know work. Um, that being her Speechless Blends, Speechless, um, you know, which I'm absolutely crazy about. And I know those work for me, so I do have some of those. And Carbs with Ghoul Friends was awesome. A winner in my house and the smell was just fantastic so if I ever see that I would grab a couple bags of that for myself okay I did I, this is just so random it was an L3 sample of today is October 3rd um, it was sitting here on my desk one day and I thought you know what just like the three loaves I bought oh I didn't did I mention that I had bought and she had a, her last pre-order because she is going out of business. I did pick up three loaves of today is October 3rd because I really like this scent. Today is October 3rd is Palo Santo Toasted Mellow Sugar Cookie Royale. It's just a creamy, lovely bakery scent. It really smells like a cookie, that sugar cookie dough with the Palo Santo is light. It's not a very heavy Palo Santo, but it gives it a little bit of that woody smokiness to it, just a tad, um, with the um, toasted marshmallow, and it makes it just gooey. It's just good. I really enjoy this scent from her, which is why I picked up three loaves, and the one day I was sitting here working, and I thought, you know what? I just want something yummy in here. I just wanted to smell that just really good bakery scent. That's what I was craving in, while I was working. Okay, now here's another one. This is Salem Soy Co. Now, you know, there's not a lot of chatter about this company, but it's really, she's got really good wax. It throws well, it's strong. Um, this is Salty Sea Air High Tide and Tart Lime. I did this one in my bathroom. Oh, and it's really good. And you pick up that tart lime, but with that salty sea air, it was just, it took it to another level, like a freshness and just a breeziness with that lime in the air. And I, I enjoyed it. It was great. Um, and I did that one in my bathroom and her wax does throw extremely well and it has good um, longevity. Okay. Then I have two from Rocky Top Waxworks. I wanted to finish this clam in Mrs. Claus's kitchen. And this is spiced cookies, baking spices, and dried fruits. Again, this is another good one. Um, I really, and I did that in this room here. I picked up that, that butteriness of cookies with the dried fruits to me come off with a cherry almond scent, which that's fine for me because I, I appreciate and love that scent, those scent notes. Um, yeah, it was really, again, you got that buttery cookie with the, it was like a cherry almond cookie is what it smelled like to me, baking in the oven. It was very good. So I wanted to finish that clam up. Um, I've also finished this clam here. This is my most, the, my very favorite scent from her. Um, and I do have more, but I had a couple cubes left in here and that's Renaissance. This one here throws like a beast. Um, I put this, I use this in my bathroom and it goes for a few days. And Renaissance is, oh, Sweet Grace, Nag Champa, and Egyptian Musk. I just, I love it. If you know what Nag Champa smells like, I, I just love it. It is a soapy note to it, which makes it work perfectly for the bathroom. Um, it's just clean and fresh and sweet and perfumey. And yeah, I enjoy this one a lot. That's Renaissance from Wax, Waxy, oh God, Rocky Top Waxworks. 
Then I have two here from Dessa's Home Spun Scents. I have not been having too much luck with Dessa. Um, I know a lot of people do. Uh, and then it's not so much for throw as it is for the scents. I just, so far, just... Anyway, let's go with this first one. It is Burnt Sugar Cake. Now this sounded like something I would really, really enjoy. It's buttery cake batter and burnt sugar frosting. I did this in my kitchen. And even here I'm smelling it. This smells like buttered popcorn to me. I, I can't get past it. Even when it was melting, it smelled to me like, not that buttered popcorn's a bad scent, it's not, but I was looking for burnt sugar cake. Um, I didn't find it sweet. It smelled like um, if I put a bag of microwave popcorn in the microwave and I popped it, that's what it smelled like. And I'm smelling it here. Maybe it's the oil for the, I don't know if it's a blend. So maybe it, the, the buttery part comes from an oil. Well, it smells like popcorn. That's, yeah, that's all I'm getting here. Like I said, which isn't bad, it's not a bad thing, but if you're looking for burnt sugar cake, I didn't get that. I got popcorn, buttered popcorn. Then I did chai tea latte, and I did that in this room here. And it is black tea infused with cinnamon, ginger, cardamom, creamy steamed milk, and cold foam topping. <sighs> I like chai. I like chai spice. This one for me, it was it was almost too much. Um, I wanted to smell a little more of the tea and a little less of the spice. Um, the spice was it was a little overwhelming for me. And it's funny because I love cardamom and I love cinnamon and I love ginger. There was just something. It was just it was too much for my nose. I just, I didn't care for it and I ended up taking it out. So yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the chai tea latte. All right. So in front of me, I've got salt mountain melts. This is, I think it's Huga or Huga Haga. Okay. And this is Cashmere Cedar, Sugar Cookie, Marshmallow Fireside. This was really good. I enjoyed this very much. Now, you know, it's funny because when I'm smelling it cold, it's light. But when I warmed this, this had such a smooth, creamy, beautiful wax, too. I did this in my living room. Now, was it a powerhouse scent? No. It wasn't. It wasn't like you walk in the room and be like, whoa, that's nice. You just walk in the room and it just like, it was just there. It was just, just hung in the air softly, but I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. You got the cashmere cedar. It was soft. It wasn't, didn't overpower. Um, now the marshmallow fireside, I think was the star in this, in my opinion. I really smelled that marshmallow fireside note in a light way. And that cashmere cedar came in and just kind of lifted it up a little bit and made it a little more sexy. And the sugar cookie gave it that sweetness. This was this was good. I enjoyed it very much. Okay, this one here. I have to remember the next time she's going to do a... Um, a pre-order and she asks you know what do we want to see I think I may have forgotten to request this last time but I gotta make sure I get it in there and that is a filthy rich you guys I can't even I have this I, this is perfect for your bedroom possibly do it in the bathroom too but in the bedroom it is just a beautiful perfume scent um, it's cocoa butter cashmere, mahogany coconut, and marshmallow fluff. It's just so pretty. So pretty. 
Oh my God, that's good. It is, I, I, really get the cocoa butter cashmere. You could smell the mahogany in it. And the marshmallow fluff just gives it, it just makes it a little bit sweet. And it is, it's stunning. It's stunning. And in the bedroom, oh my God, it was beautiful. And I, I've got to, I gotta have more. And I have something in my eye. I gotta have more of it. So I am going to, and this I would buy in a loaf. Absolutely. This would be loaf worthy for me. Um, I gotta remember to ask her to pour this one. Because I want it to sit long enough so I can, you know, because this was actually poured in January of 23. I need more of it. Okay, so we did some swanky. Guys, I am loving swanky. I really, really am. Um, this one here is Pink Powdered Donuts. Okay, and then it's one of her bakery bags. And Pink Powdered Donuts is Pink Frosted Cake Sweet Strawberry Powdered Donuts. I, this is so nice. Um, and I love her baker shape, bakery shape bags. She has these beautiful shapes in here. I mean, beautiful. Like these ones are just, oh, look at this. It's like an ice cream scoop. And this one here. Oh, how pretty is this? It's a little cupcake, right? But you put little sparkles on top. This is so pretty. You gotta warm this to appreciate this one. Mmm. It's sweet. You get a she's got a very nice strawberry oil. I really, really like swanky strawberry oil, whatever it is she uses. Um so you got that. You can pick up the frosting in it, that sugary frosting. And the donut is just, it's not overpowering. It's a soft donut scent. It's more strawberry and pink frosting. I love this one. This is really good. Um, like I said, I like a lot of her strawberry, though. A lot of, yeah, she's got a good strawberry. Um, so yeah, that's pink powder donuts. Totally enjoyed that. Um, okay, let me seal that one back up. This next one here, I'm pretty sure I bought this off Summer Michelle in a D stash. And this is um, White Tea Hotel. And it is delicate tea, delicate white tea, and a touch of cedar wood. And this was a loaf. You know, I'm a sucker for white tea. I just, if I see white tea in a blend, just like Nag Champa, I buy it because I know I'm going to like it. This is so pretty. It is the white tea with that, the cedar wood. It's just, and it is just a touch. It's just enough to take that white tea, which is a bright floral scent. Um, I think of, think of like white floral when you think of white tea and that see the touch of the cedar wood just kind of gave it a little bit more of a warmth, just a, just a touch. And it was, it was perfect. Perfect. Love this. One. Okay. And that was swanky. Then I did from Sassy Girl. Now this was sent to me um, from um, Stephanie from Steph Loves Life. And it's Almond Croissant. Did this one in my kitchen. This is a nice scent. Um, I put my glass on for this because this one is tiny. Uh, delicious flaky croissant filled with almond cream topped off with toasted sliced almonds and powdered sugar. It's just a nice almond bakery. Um, you do get the croissant. Yeah, it's just, this is a, I think I, I think I probably even have a couple brittles 
it's really good and it smells great in the kitchen yeah you get the almond and you get the buttery croissant slight sweetness it's not super sweet it's more of the croissant and almond scent that comes through yeah i enjoyed that one god i love sassy girl you guys keep praying keep praying she you know can recover from this disaster you know i'm even kind of scared i'm starting to pull back on melting my sassy girl because i'm like i don't know when i can get it again Okay, so here was another Sassy Girl that I warmed. Um, this is called Sugared Peonies. I did do the whole brittle. It was not in one warming, in two separate. Um, it's Pink Peony Whipped Cream Cotton Candy. Um, again, not always going to love everything, even though it is sassy. I didn't hate it by any means. It was nice. A lot of cotton candy in here um, it was a very sweet scent sugary sweet uh, cotton candy sugary sweet it was okay probably would not be a repurchase for me but that's all right I melted it if you like sugary sweet scents like cotton candy it was nice and it was a creamy it was like um that whipped cream did make it kind of like flat, you know, so even though it didn't have that brightness of a sweet cotton candy, it had a creamy cotton candy. I didn't pick up pink peony. Okay, let's move on to Noel's Farm. I've been trying to get through his stuff. A little rose petal from that. Um, not get through it. I've been trying to melt down because, in fact, I may do a lot of melting from his, my stash from him because I think he's getting ready to ship his pre-order that he did in January or February. What the, he's fast. Now I've got, there's a bin over there, there, that has my older purchases then I have another bin over here that's not on camera that has the newer so I'm trying to melt oldest to the newer so I figure let me pull see if I could melt through a lot of this older stuff okay let's start with black cherry bomb Ooh. black cherry bomb is black cherry vanilla and hints of jasmine this is a super cherry scent. Um, did that in this room here. This reminds me of, now that I'm smelling it, a hard cherry candy, like Lifesavers, a sucker. It's super, it's candy cherry. It's a candy sweet cherry. I did not really pick up the jasmine. Maybe the vanilla is pulling the candy scent. It's not really, it's not bad. I mean, it's, if you like, and I do like cherry. If you if you're a cherry fan, give it a try. It's probably not something I'm going to, it's well, probably won't be a repurchase for me. Yeah, think of um, popsicle cherry. Yeah, it had a very, it was very sweet, candy-like cherry scent. Not medicinal, though. It didn't smell like cough syrup. All right, then we have Holiday Fusion. I don't know what happened here because I've melted this in the past, so I'm not sure what happened. Um, I didn't, couldn't smell it. It did not throw. It's not old because it was poured in September. And it is pear, apple, cider, cinnamon, clove, and sugar cane. I, it's a beautiful scent. It's almost like it, that pear really shines in here, but with the with those spices, the cinnamon and the clove, it's just it's really pretty. But I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it was just the day. Like I said, our temps here have been weird. 
okay? So on those warmer days, there was no air circulating in the house, right? Because the furnace wasn't kicking on. Um, but it was damp, right? So even though the days were warm, there was still that dampness in the air because everything's wet outside, you know, from the snow and the cold and it's wet. So now the house is damp. There's no furnace running. I don't know if that has something to do with it. I just feel like when the furnace is on, the air flows, you know, better. And I think that takes the scent and pulls it. And in the summertime, the air conditioner is running. So that kind of pulls the, you know, the set and moves it around the room. So I don't know, because I don't remember what day it was that I melted this, but I, I couldn't smell it. Then I did Mad Tea Party. This one's really good. I, you know, something about Mad Tea Party. It's almond macaroons, macarons, vanilla cupcakes, fluffy icing, and lavender tea. But it's just cut this lemony scent. And I really, I enjoy this. I, it's just, it's like lemony. It's just so strange to me. And it does, it smells like a, it smells like a, you could smell the cupcake in, but it, to me it's like a lemony cupcake. Yeah, I enjoy this. Um, and I have more of Mad Tea Party. Okay, then we did, I did After Midnight. Now, After Midnight is White Oak, Vanilla, Cocoa Butter, and Cashmere. This is a pretty scent for your bedroom or bathroom. It leans a little more of a masculine vibe. Um, definitely more towards the cologne scent. No, not cologne. Because cologne is, when I think of the word cologne, I think of heavy masculine scent. It's not. It's not heavy. But it is aromatic, perfumey. Um, it's pretty. It's the white oak in here. I can really smell the white oak. It has that dryness to it, you know. Yeah. Um, cocoa butter, not so much. I smell more the white oak and cashmere here. Not so much the vanilla or the cocoa butter. And it was very pretty. I did this. I did this in my bathroom. And it was really nice. Gave the bathroom a nice, you know, clean type. Not, not you know, you, you got to be real careful when you use the word clean. A lot of people mistake it for laundry and it wasn't laundry. Anyway, sugar cookie dough bread. This is just good. You know, it's just, it's just a really good bread scent. Um, it's Amish friendship bread, zucchini bread, and sugar cookie. And I don't mean bread scent, I mean more like bakery. You know, like when you go into a bakery and you could smell all those different things baking in there, like the breads. Yeah, you just get that nice bready bakery scent. Like if you walked into a bakery that mainly bakes breads, maybe with a few bakery items, like as far as sugary, but this is really good. Okay. That was all I melted from Knowles. Then I did some things from Sweet Tooth. Now, I gotta tell you, you guys, I feel, I feel that she will be going places. Um, people really need to jump in and start sampling her stuff because I think when she gets her feet on the ground and not her feet on the ground when she gets when this business really gets off the ground it's gonna be good um because so far everything I've warmed I really like it performs really really well in my house um yeah I see good things coming from her keep your eye on her join her Facebook group um because she is new and just starting out she does periodic pours and then opens, puts them out on the website for purchase. So it's, it's beneficial to follow her Facebook group so that you can find out what, what she's pouring and what's going to be available 
when she, you know, she'll let you know, hey, I uploaded the stuff on the site. Um, and then you can go and grab it. Okay, some of these things, um, I'm trying to think. I think most of them, maybe with the exception of one. I don't remember. Um, she had sent to me. And some, <coughs> excuse me, some of them are um, samples that I've received. Okay, so we have this Nag Pound Cake. Now this one I know she sent me because she knows I love Nag. And she wanted my opinion on it. I gotta tell you something. This was so good. Now this particular one is a soy wax cup. When you smell it, you smell the Nag Champa. When you melt it, you get that pound cake. And the pound cake is shining and that Nag Champa is just peeking through and giving it that smell like, gee, now what is that? It, it, this is, I like this Nag Pound Cake very, very much. Um, I know she is looking to find out if people are preferring the Parasoy over the soy. I honestly, I... I haven't noticed a difference. So for me, you know, the soy is, seems to be working fine and the parasoy works good too because I've used that as well. So I don't I don't know. I guess maybe I need to really sit with it more and do a deeper analysis of, you know, this was soy, this was parasoy, which did better and why. I don't know, but so far everything I've been warming, whether it be the parasoy or the soy, has been performing well, throwing well, and lasting well. So, this Nag Pound Cake is so good. Really, I'm enjoying that one. I'm hoping that she pours it because I would like to buy some of that. Then we had Cherry Champa. She had sent this one to me as well. Now, Cherry Champa, this was really good. Um... And we both agreed the, I think we said we felt both of us kind of had the same opinion that the cherry was just a little too, the cherry was overpowering the champa. That was, I think, what I had said and she kind of felt the same way. Then this one here is just, I think I was just finishing off um, a bar. A snap bar of Nag Champa and it was delicious and amazing and I believe she said she doesn't have this particular oil anymore but this oil was patchouli patchouli wood orange flower sugared musk sandalwood vanilla and vanilla and resin this was really good and I used this in my bathroom and it went a long time ah so good it did the earthiness the patchouli was nice in here because it wasn't that dirty patchouli it was a nice patchouli that that woody type earthy patchouli yeah this was this was good that was one of my favorites ah this one here blew my mind she's got to pour this in fact I'm gonna send her a message I've got I, I, yeah, I need more of this. Such, not, such a strange, not, a lot of people like this. Elderberry. This was Elderberry Donut. Oh my God. Every time I sit and I smell this. It's like a powdered jelly donut. It smells just like a powdered jelly donut. Like, I feel like a kid again, a kid again, when my parents would buy donuts from DiCamello's and my father always bought, there was always a couple powdered cherry donuts and this is exactly what it smells like. It is unbelievable. Girl, need more. Now this was a soy wax sample. And now, here's one we can compare. Maybe do the parasoy. Let's check and see how that one smells. But this, I don't even want to throw this out because I just, I'm enjoying just smelling it. It smells so good. 
need more. That's all I'm going to say. Okay, then <laughs> this one here, Blackberry Incense. I told her I was going to melt this one day because on cold to me, I almost got a marijuana smell on it. I don't know why. I still do. However, when I melted it, it was completely different. Um, on, on melting it, it did get like, you got the sweetness of the blackberry, but that incense was very, whatever incense, it was real, um, woody and earthy like with the blackberry. It was nice. It wouldn't be a scent I gravitate towards though. But it was, it was, it melted beautifully and threw well and yeah, um, but it isn't for me. This one here, this was a big surprise and I absolutely loved it. This cardamom and green, it was a green tea, grapefruit, cardamom tea and grapefruit. You know what? Completely different once you warm it. Love it on cold. It's so good. Then you warm it. Transformed. This took on, you could, the cardamom just exploded. And it was beautiful. It was such a beautiful cardamom. It had a little sweetness to it. I don't know if that came from the grapefruit. This is fantastic. In fact, I'm going to keep this out. I'm going to keep this out because when I'm done with this video, I'm going to message her and I'm going to ask her if she can start pouring some of that um, and let me know when it's poured because this was so good. Oh, what was the other one? Oh, the pound cake. Yeah. Mm. But this cardamom tea and grapefruit. Wow. Wow. That was a big shock when it warmed. I was like, whoa, what happened? I expected that because it almost had a clean, bright scent to it. And then when you warmed it, it was like, oh, oh, wait a minute. Fantastic. This one here, French toast. This was another one. It was phenomenal. Just phenomenal. Just smells like a plate of French toast. Wasn't too heavy on the maple, but there's just enough scent here to know that you're smelling French toast. So it had that little bit of a breadiness to it, just enough of the maple syrup. It was delicious. So good. And then this was another one she had sent me, um, Beach Day. She had never smelled Beach Nights, so she wasn't sure. So she bought an oil um, that was supposed to be Beach Nights oil and wanted to know what I thought of it. It was pretty. Um, I'm trying to think back to when I warmed it because the scent is actually come it's not it's not real prominent in the bag anymore so I'm trying to remember what I thought I liked it I did like it I think it's very pretty I think it could have used possibly a tad more salty sea air and a little bit more of the toasted marshmallow but even so, that being said, I think it's a beautiful scent on its own. I don't think she really has to make any changes to it. It was very good. Okay. That's what I had from Sweet Tooth. Check her out. Okay, the last ones I have is Second and Spruce. I wanted to get through some of her stuff because I thought I warmed more. Maybe that was in my last warming basket I might have warmed through because her, the one of her bins, one of her bins 
is getting lower, which I'm trying to do. Um, and her bins are over here, one and two. Um, the top one has, God, oh, this is so hard, the most recent scents in it. And the ones down here are the ones I had ordered last summer. So, actually spring too, because I noticed there's some here from uh, May. So, I'm trying to warm through those because I've got another order coming. So, let's start with Shimmer. This was a mini loaf. And Shimmer is Freesia, Heliotrope, Cashmere, Vanilla, and Amber. Um, it was nice. I don't know if it was the Freesia or the Heliotrope. I'm just, I wasn't a huge fan of it. It's okay. It wouldn't be a reorder scent for me. Um, I didn't hate it while I was melting it, but I wasn't like, oh, that's really nice. It was just there. It wasn't something I was in love with. And like I said, I'm not sure if it was the Freesia or the Heliotrope in here that I wasn't crazy about. One of those notes. So it's a floral. Um, cashmere. Yeah, everybody knows what, you know, cashmere is kind of a woody woody blends of you know, sandalwood and whatnot. Um, but I did not really pick up much of that. I think I was picking up more of that Freesia and Heliotrope. I didn't really grab a lot of vanilla in here, but vanilla is a funny, you know. Amber, yeah, I guess there was, yeah. It was, a, it was okay. Not a fan. Then we got, I got through, why do I say we? Kind of creepy, ain't it? I'm only one person, I'm not, and I don't have like multiple personality disorder, but anyway, Smoked Vanilla Woods. Is that what that said? Smoked Vanilla Woods, yes. And this is Smoked Vanilla Cashmere Cedar Roasted Pine Cones, VBN type, and an extra hint, oh, Vanilla Bean Noel type, extra hint of smoke. I like this one. I thought this was really good. Um, it's smoky and I, yeah, this was, this was nice. Mmm, so good. It's just, to me, it's like, and you do get the roasted pine cone here. So you get that roasted pine cone, but they're super smoky, just like you kind of threw them into your campfire. Just, yeah, this was good. It's a beautiful late fall winter scent. It's one of those scents that are just, you know, make you feel warm and cozy, like just like campfire cozy, right? And I got through a shape bag of jam and java this is so good this is uh jammin which is raspberry jam and buttered toast with house coffee beans first of all can i just say her raspberry oil is by far the best raspberry ever it is so sweet and just yummy and oh. This was like, you got your cup of coffee sitting here, right? And you got just a piece of toast with butter and raspberry jam on it. My nose is itching now. Butter and raspberry jam and you're taking a bite of your toast and then you bring your coffee to your... This is a good one. Just saying. Jam and Java. Fantastic. These next two scents, pulling more into the spring um, scents. And the first one is Rain Delay. 
I did this in my bedroom. This was actually poured a year ago. Well, not a year ago, May. Um, it is beach linen, ocean breeze, ozone, wet stones, and a hint of sweet berries. I got this one going in my bedroom. It's pretty. It's clean. And again, you're cleaning your house on a Sunday. Everything's all dusted. The sun's coming through the windows. And you just get this nice feeling of everything is so clean. The ozone in here. In the ocean, the wet stones, the ocean breeze. So you get that atmospheric smell. A little bit of a saltiness here, the salty air. The sweetness from the berries. And yes, there is a wet stone smell. It's just, it's so pretty. So pretty. And I think that, that beach linen is giving it that little bit of that cleanliness. But it's nice. It's not laundry. It's teetering on the line of being a laundry scent. It's just a really nice spring summer scent. You know, it's what I would like to ever use this in my bathroom. Absolutely. It's great for your bathroom. If you want your whole house, you, even the whole house would be nice. Oh, got to put it in my other bag. I like to, I don't know why I double bag hers. I think because her scents are so strong. Um, yeah, I don't want to lose it. And uh, I need to mention that. Second in spruce. You know, you don't even need to hold it. I mean, I would still suggest holding it a, at least maybe a month at the most, but you could start right in on it. Her, I hope she never changes her formula. However, she, her stuff goes and it throws in. It's amazing. Second spruce is phenomenal wax. I'm just saying. So this other one I did is Bougie Hotel Spa. And I actually did this in my whole house. I wanted my house to smell clean. <coughs> and I wanted that spa-like feel. I don't know why. It's green tea, ginger, avocado, agave nectar, and tonka bean. This was fantastic. Oh. I'm trying to see what I'm picking up most. There's a sweetness to it. Almost a little citrusy, but not quite. You get the avocado in there, but there's a sharp note, and I don't know what it is, but I like it. Maybe it's the green tea, but I've never known as the agave nectar. Yes. The ginger's subtle, but you know, it almost this almost has bath and body white tea and ginger vibes to it and maybe it's the ginger in here that i'm picking up really enjoyed this one this was very good um and it threw well in the house i melted this out in my living room and into my um nail studio there and it, it was fantastic really really threw quite well okay that's it. That's all I got. And it still took me an hour. Why? I think I talk too much. Maybe, you know, I don't know. Do you like to hear about, like, what I'm thinking on these scents? Or do you just want to hear what I melted? You know, because I could do that, too. I'd say, oh, yeah, I melted this one. It was really good. And I melted this. Uh, yeah, I loved this, too. I didn't like this one so much. I don't know. Um, I tend to elaborate, in, you know, on them when I'm talking about them. So... Let me know if you just want to hear what I melted or do you want to hear about the scent itself? Because um, I do see a lot of videos where people are just, they just go through and say what they melted and leave it at that. Okay. And, you know, I, when I'm revisiting them, I just get carried away. And especially ones that I really love, I just want to keep smelling them. All right. So that's that. I do have a Scentsy video to do. I'm trying to remember what's in the box. Oh, I remember. It's the Whiff Box and the Mother's Day Collection. 
Um, I'm not sure I'm going to do that tonight. I'm going to try. So we'll see because I do have some laundry I need to finish up. And uh, yeah. Anyway. I hope everybody's feeling rested because we did lose that hour of sleep. It never seems to really affect me. So I don't know. The only way I get affected by it is I feel like my day is shot. But I don't feel like I've lost sleep. I just feel like my day got short because I lost an hour. Anyway, enough about that. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. I appreciate the time you take out of your day, your busy lives, your busy schedules to watch a video I've uploaded. That truly, really does mean a lot to me. And um, yeah, so please comment, like, and subscribe. I greatly appreciate that as well. And have a great day, great night, great week, whenever you happen to be watching. And we'll talk again real soon. Bye.